Hi, this is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to compression test an engine that's out of the car. And so what I've got here is a junkyard engine that I just picked up. I've got it hanging from my engine jack, my engine hoist, and I've got light pressure on it, and it's also sitting on the floor. And I've got a strap thrown over top of the engine to either leg of the engine hoist. And <clears throat> This engine did not have a flex plate or a starter on it, so I installed those. And I checked the oil to make sure it had oil in it and added some. I've got the throttle held wide open right here. And what I've got is I've got it hooked up to a car battery. And I've got a, a regular positive lead out of another car. I've got, the, I've got that hooked up to the starter like it normally would be. And you want a pretty beefy wire going from your your positive to the starter and so if you only have a thin wire like this one you'll want to beef it up by twisting five or six different pieces together I've got the negative hooked up with a jumper cable to the block and so what we're going to do is we're going to use this wire here touch it to the positive and that will engage our starter and so what I did is I've got my compression tester here and I tested the engine just right off the bat and I came up with about 150 PSI and then I took some Saturn fans advice and I dropped about maybe a quarter of a cap of oil in each spark plug well after I removed the spark plugs and I squirted some WD-40 into the exhaust manifold ports right here and after you do that you want to let the engine turn over for about 10 seconds so we'll do that right now Okay, now that moistened everything up because this engine's been sitting for a while. So now we want to take our compression tester, drop it in one of the spark plug wells, and thread it into the block. And just thread it until it stops, don't over tighten it. Let it hang there. Now we want to turn the engine over about seven times or until the pressure stops increasing. So now I've got about 185 PSI and so what you want to do is release the pressure, unthread your tester and thread it into the remaining three wells and what you're looking for here is you're looking for at least 180 PSI although we're working with a cold engine here so you might not get that high but you're looking for consistency across all four cylinders. So here we go with number two. And we're at about 180 right here and so forth. And so this is how you compression test an engine that's out of the car.